So in this video, we're looking at commission. So this is great for people that sell things. The more you sell, the more money you make. And it works a little bit like this. Alice earns a 7% commission on all electrical goods she sells. All right, so if she sells $100 worth of stuff, she gets 7% of that, which is $7. She sold $8,000 worth of stuff this week. How much is her commission? So it's pretty easy to figure this one out. Total commission is equal to um, total stuff. We'll call it total sales times the commission percentage. So that's going to be equal to total sales, $8,000, times the commission percentage, which is 7%. Now you have to express it as a decimal, so 0 0.07 is the same as 7%. Now if you type that into your calculator, you're going to get $560. Now that's pretty good. What that means is Alice, over the course of the week, sold $8,000 worth of stuff. And at the end of the week, her boss says, right, you sold $8,000 worth of stuff. That's great. 7% of that is $560, and that's what you get to have. That's pretty good. Um, now, another type of salesperson that earns commission is a real estate agent, but they've got like a staggered commission. It's a little more complicated. So let's take a look at it. Uh, a real estate agent earns the following commission. And look at this table here. This is important. For the first $20,000 of the house price, you earn a high commission, 5%. For the next $120,000, you earn a lower commission, only 3% on that. But then everything above that amount, you only earn 1%. That's what I mean by a staggered commission. The commission goes down as the house price goes up. All right, so Bob sells a $560,000 house. How much commission? So. We need to calculate it by calculating this, this, and this, and then adding them all together. So the total commission on this will be equal to the first $20,000 times the commission on that $20,000, 0.05. Now, after that, we have another $120,000. Now, this house is $560,000, which is more than this and this added together which means that he's going to get all of this $120,000 commission. So $120,000 times 0 0.03, because it's a percentage, but we need to express it as a decimal to do this calculation. Now, the hardest bit is this next bit here, which is figuring out how what the number is here. Okay, uh, It was a $560,000 house. We paid him um, $20,000. Sorry, we paid him... 5% uh, of 20,000, 3% of 120,000. Now what's left over? All right, well, why don't we just put it into our calculation itself? The total cost of the house was $560,000. Make sure we put enough zeros there. Subtract the initial 20 grand for the first commission. Subtract the 120,000 for the other commission. And that is how much is left over. Now, if you do that, maybe you can even do it in your head. Uh, 560 minus 140, that's uh, 420. So that whole bracket there is $420,000. That's the amount that was left over after these first two were dealt with. And we're multiplying that by 0 0.01. So calculation here, calculation here, calculation here. We'll have three numbers. That's the commission for this, this, and this. And then we can add them all together, and that will be this real estate agent's total commission. So $1,000 on the first $20,000, uh, $3,600 on the next 120, $4,200 on the next $420,000. We add those numbers together, we get a total commission of $8,800. This real estate agent has earned himself $8,800 when he sold this one house. That's pretty good going. So in a nutshell, that's commission. Uh, there are other variations here. Some people get paid a little bit of money, what's called a retainer, plus a commission. Uh, but you can explore some of those uh, as you work through some questions. Okay, getting paid, commission.